see this is the summary we are going to uh, learn in this session first we will see php introduction then php installation then web concept then script syntax then how to declare variables and data types then strings uh, then we will see constants operators decision making statements loop types and arrays so today we are going to uh, see what all these topics are in php okay uh, what is php actually php is a acronym for php hypertext preprocessor this is a full form of php and it is widely used and it is open source script language so we don't uh, have to uh, like uh, pay anything for to use this php in, uh, software php scripts are executed on the server basically we have front end and back end so php is used for back end it is executed on the server not on the client okay so you know what is client side and server side client side basically use javascript html css all those stuff and server side is used by php mysql back end thing so okay php is free to download there is no charge as i have told you and uh, yeah who is the creator of php rasmal ladd of in 1994 there yeah, in 1994 he has uh, launched first uh, php version okay then what is php file exactly uh, php file contains like tags normal tags html html tags css javascript and php code so it's a mixture of all these things right uh, then php code are executed on the server and whenever the php runs on the server it returns the output as an html and that output uh, displayed by the browser right and let's see uh, when we create php we store it as we store that file as a dot php extension so php can generate dynamic page content dynamic means uh, html or previously web pages are like uh, static pages they are like if you, if you write once it will not going to change but using php we can change the data dynamically so dynamically means we, we can connect to the mysql server and we can fetch the data based on the request so it is dynamically data will get changed so php can use to read file from the server uh, from the disk and we can like read we can uh, overwrite the file we can delete the file and we can uh, even we can upload the file on the server and next php can collect form data like suppose you, we have a form a uh, login form or the registration form so that type of uh, activity also can be done by php php can send and receive cookies like whenever we have uh, like login system so we uh, at the time of login we created cookie or session so that uh, the user can be identified by this session so that type of activity can be done by php PHP can add, delete, modify data in your database. Using uh, MySQL, we can connect to the database and we can manipulate the data. And uh, PHP can be used to control user access. Like uh, if I am an admin and logging to my system, I can manage your uh, user data. Basically, we can uh, use uh, create CMS content management type system, wherein we can uh, create user, we can delete user, we can edit user information. That type of activity can be done by PHP. And uh, even we can enter data. Suppose uh, if uh, I want to enter some data into my uh, and store into the database, we can do so. We can encrypt the data and store into the database. So why PHP only? Uh, there are many languages: C, C++, Java, uh, ASP.NET, ASP. But why we uh, prefer PHP? The PHP can run on various platforms. Like it is independent of platform. You can use in Windows. You can use on Linux, Mac. It is independent of operating system, right? And PHP is compatible with almost all servers used today. Like the uh, the most widely used uh, server with PHP is Apache. And okay. even we can use ISS. PHP supports wide range of databases. We can use like MySQL, uh, Oracle, uh, then uh, like uh, see, uh, see this, all type of database can be 
use this PHP. And mostly we are using MySQL because it, it is an open source. You don't have to pay anything. Use MySQL as like PHP. Yeah, PHP installation. So you can install PHP uh, like on, on any uh, operating system. So then if you want to store, uh, use them, it can only be installed on Microsoft uh, Windows. But if you use them, it can be it is independent of operating system. So if I want to uh, run uh, like a PHP or an Apache, then I can install them on any server, like on Windows, Linux, or Mac, anything. So okay. preferred is them. You can install them and you can run on any system, on any operating okay. system. Okay. Right? So it's a package. So uh, if you uh, uh, run them, now it will automatically install PHP, MySQL, Apache, and Perl. Everything is, is everything from under uh, this package. So you don't have to go and install individually PHP, MySQL, or Apache. So setting up a local web server. So PHP script, what it does, it executes on the web server running PHP. So before uh, you start writing program, you need the following program to be installed on the server on your computer. The first thing is Apache web server to run the PHP code and then PHP what it will do it will pass your PHP to and MySQL database to connect to the database. If you want to connect store data, uh, some data into database then you can use MySQL. So these three basic things need to be installed on the server if you want to use PHP. So yeah, this is the download uh, you can very where you can download them and then uh, basically uh, basically this is the structure if you install them then them is the folder wherein you will have like docs folder this is your uh, root directory so suppose I want to create any PHP file then I will store that PHP file in docs folder so in, if I am suppose creating test.php file then I will store that file in dot folder and I can access from browser like I will type http dot uh, colon slash slash and localhost then slash test dot php so up to stdoc it will read as localhost and if you are installing ramp then it will be like when under event we will have ww which is the uh, root directory so in the WW you can store your test.php file or any PHP file. Installing uh, ZAMP is like you uh, as you install any software by clicking on and clicking on next next next. So it is not uh, uh, difficult to install them. If once you click on you can just follow the instruction uh, by the software. It will uh, automatically install all your PHP, MySQL and Apache. Then what are web sensors? So basically there are like uh, main three, three main things are where www, http and url. So what is the www? www is nothing but a worldwide uh, wide web standard. Uh, it, it is a technical definition of worldwide web. All, all the resources and users on the internet are using http. So if you are using uh, like uh, internet then you have, it has to be like HTTP and HTTP is nothing but a protocol which is used by internet. It's a standard protocol used by the internet. And the URL, URL is nothing but the uniform resource locator. So if, if, suppose if I have a URL then it, it contains what HTTP which is the protocol then www which is the world wide web and after that whatever comes after www dot uh, your domain name slash url so this is how a url is created so it has like a protocol and web standard and the url and the link of the page you are going to visit so uh, this is the script uh, this is the basic syntax for php so if i want to write a uh, php then it will be like less than then uh, question mark then PHP. So whenever I start the uh, PHP script, then it has to be written like this: less than question mark and PHP, and it okay. ends with question mark and greater than sign. Okay. So whatever is written between this syntax, it will be executed by the Apache server. 
anything uh, written ab above or below this uh, syntax will not be run by this Apache server. So it is like uh, indication to the server that it is the PHP code which has to be executed sources on the server. Okay. So whenever we start PHP writing PHP code, we use less than question mark PHP and in it ends with question mark and greater than. And whenever a statement ends, it is end with semicolon. Okay. So there is two things we need to keep in mind when we are writing PHP code. One is when we, uh, how to start PHP script and one is how to uh, end a statement by uh, writing semicolon. Okay, then we will see what are PHP comments. Uh, comments uh, like it is like it is a, like uh, suppose I have written some code and uh, after a few days if I want to know what that code exactly is, what that code is doing, what the logic has been written, then I won't remember. So at the time of writing code, we are like putting some comments like what this logic, what that piece of code is going to do. So basically this is for human, this is for our, this is for our understanding what that code is, has been written for. So whenever we have uh, comment, it is not going to execute by the server. It, it is just a basic information which is useful for uh, human or programmer, just to know what type of code it is. Okay. So there are different types of comments. If suppose I want to use single line comment, then I can use double slash, double forward slash, it will come in the one line of, it will come in only one line, it will not come in more than one line. And similarly I can use uh, hash sign which is also a single line comment. If suppose I want to come in more than one line then I can use slash, forward slash, star and then I will close that with, and with uh, star and slash. So if there are uh, single line comments and there are multiple line comments. So this way we can uh, comment our code. So comment is not going to be executed by the server. It's just the information that what uh, before uh, writing code we can put the comment that this is the uh, this uh, this piece of code is going to do what this piece of code is going to do. So in future, if suppose you want to refer that code, then by reading that comment, you can really uh, get to know what uh, this piece of code is going to be. PHP case sensitivity. So case sensitivity there in PHP suppose I have a variable, right? And if I am writing like dollar uh, first name in small case. And if I am writing same dollar first name in capital uh, case, then both are different variables. Though both are same but it will treat as different because PHP is case sensitivity. So in PHP all keywords like uh, if statement, else statement, while loop, echo, classes, functions and user defined functions are not case sensitive. Apart from these like variables all those are case sensitive. So here you can see the example if I am writing echo in small case, if I am writing echo in capital case, if I am writing in mix of uh, small and capital case. So it will treat as, it will treat as echo. So it will not give you an error. Okay. If you write echo in any uh, in any case, it will uh, give you the result. It will not give you an error. But However, the variable names are case sensitive. As I told you, suppose I have a variable, like in this example, we are creating dollar color, right? And I am accessing that dollar color. So if I using, uh, if I am using the same variable, uh, same case, then it will give me the output. If I am using in different case, it will not give me the output because both variables are different for PHP. Suppose like an example, if suppose I am writing here PHP, right? And then if I am writing dollar, like color equal to red. 
you find a coin D. Dollar, color, and again if I am writing same, if I am writing this like this, So if you see this, in first statement it is giving me red because the variable name is in small letter. But in second example, it is not giving me the color name as red because it is treating this both are as separate variables. So this is the difference of case sensitivity.